my brothers and sisters, and here we are again showcasing law enforcement murdering citizens for the most irrational reasons. How many times does a cop shoot an armed suspect and while fearing for his life, the killing is ruled justified? And justified it may be, but how often is that claimed gun not actually a weapon at all? Where the reported gun is a wallet, a flashlight, or maybe even a vehicle registration? Well, here we have a case where murdering the suspect has nothing to do with a life or death situation, but rather possibly having drug paraphernalia inside a vehicle. I won't spoil the fatal surprise, so watch for yourself and let me know in the comments if this citizen deserved to die at the hands of this certified mentally challenged murderer. And the justice system fails again. Check it out. Well, a federal appeals court ruled a civil lawsuit against an Arlington police officer who shot and killed a man can move forward. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals denied Officer Craig Roper's claim of qualified immunity protecting him from a lawsuit. Roper killed Tavis Crane in 2017 during a traffic stop after a different officer mistook a fake candy cane for a drug pipe. Roper, as a backup officer, allegedly put Crane in a chokehold and shot him, causing the car to move and hit the other officer. A grand jury cleared Roper in 2019, but now he can be sued by Crane's family. Fox 4's Sean Rabb gets insight about what this ruling could mean for law enforcement. This Fifth Circuit uh, opinion in this case out of Arlington involving Mr. Crane, who was ultimately shot and killed while in his car, what does the if you're at the barbershop having this conversation, how do you explain it? It's a case about a failure to de-escalate uh, by the police that were involved in the situation. At least that's the claim. It's a very important practical guidance to law enforcement that says, when you have a situation like this, keep it de-escalated. Or if someone gets hurt, you could be responsible for it in court. And so in this case, the qualified immunity claim has been rejected. That's right. There was there was a claim by passengers in the car and the court said you don't have a claim. But the person who was shot and killed, their estate does have a claim uh, that the, the city of Arlington said that should be dismissed under qualified immunity. This is unfortunate, but this is the kind of judgment call that law enforcement gets to make. And the court said we don't that may be true at trial, but it's not so clear right now that we can just dismiss the case. There is substantial difference of opinion about what happened here and why who escalated, who first brought force to the situation that caused it to begin escalating further, why this car started moving. Is it because the person was trying to get away or because he had been shot? And those are very serious questions that we have to have a full trial about. And the opinion says, you know, officers have qualified immunity in this country. If you act within the bounds of the law, you get a break, you're immune from liability. We respect that you have to make tough judgment calls when you're in law enforcement. But that's not a blanket pass to do anything you want to do. And we have a situation here where somebody got shot because of a candy cane, when you get right down to it. And we need to understand fully what happened and there needs to be a full trial on the merits and not have this case just be dismissed. And so the warning here is not that there's anything per se wrong with checking somebody for traffic tickets and warrants when you do a stop. It's that be careful because if you find something, something that's totally innocent can turn on a dime and become something very tragic like this did. Sean Rabb there with David Cole. Craig Roper remains with the Arlington Police Department. No date has been set for the federal civil rights violation case to go to court. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico and New York have repealed qualified immunity and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped. 
for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.